Hey, uh, okay, so this week we're gonna go shopping, okay? Because I have a slight problem here. Okay, you know this is my much loved car. However, I did get into a small accident and this is what happened. Uh, and this is not a very cheap part to replace, especially if you're gonna go with the original. But then I looked around and I saw, well, I have options that would actually give additional bling to my car by not going the original route. Now, a lot of people would scoff at the idea of not going with an original, but wait till you see this. So, for this, I've got my debit card ready, and we're gonna go shopping. I've oh, gotta wait for the car to finish washing first, lap, but then check this out. Okay, so this is like a trip to Toys R Us for me. This is what we call going shopping. Um, so here's the brief. We are here to look for a replacement headlamp for my car. What do we have here? Headlamps. Okay, headlamps. Uh, we are here in uh, Eagle Eyes Auto Lamps uh, and these guys have been in the business for a very, very long time. In fact, the products, the, the, the company that makes these headlamps uh, back in Taiwan have been around for well uh, over 30 years and um, they have the quality assurance behind them. Uh, they check their goods very, very thoroughly. Every bit, every single light bulb, the, the, the polycarbonate uh, lens and the polypropylene uh, housing, everything is done uh, with a proper stringent uh, OEM standards quality control. Okay. Also, well, that's the quality part. The other part, of course, is the design part. Now, for example, if you come over here, I'm kind of familiar with this place already. Uh, they have a myriad of both headlamps and tail lamps that you could choose from. Uh, this is uh, from a 5 Series BMW. Uh, of course, now, for example, if you take this one here, uh, I believe this one here is from the uh, latest generation of the Civic. This is from the Civic? Yes, okay. Yeah, the guys from the back are telling me, yes, this is for the Civic. So, this is for the one car. However, they do have several different design options that you could choose from. You, could, you have this one with the very, very sexy new uh, light bar. Uh, design uh, you can also find something that is purely LED so it all depends on what you want to do uh, so the next step for me here is to choose a headlamp uh, which I think I'm pretty sure that I know I've done my research so I know exactly what I'm looking for and it's time to install it and again installation is another big part so let's go and check out how they install the headlamps Okay, so we've come to the crucial and important bit that you must get right, uh, which is the installation. Now, it is really, really important that you get this spot on because you're going to be in a lot of trouble uh, if you don't. So here's the deal. You have one of two options. Option number one is you buy the headlamps from these guys uh, or from a reputable reseller and you get them fixed by the guys themselves uh, and uh, you will get a, a, a good... Uh, feel good quality to it as well because you know that these guys know exactly what they're doing and uh, everything that needs to be done correctly will be done correctly. Option number two is you buy uh, the headlamps from these guys and then you take it back with, uh, with you to uh, your own mechanic and they fix it for you. Now, the issue of warranty would come up. You see, when you buy a headlamp from, say these guys, from Eagle Eyes, uh, it comes with an 18 months warranty. and. Earlier I mentioned that the quality assurance, everything is already there so they are confident enough to give a longer warranty period compared to not so reputable sellers uh, who are providing you with um, products that are subpar. Okay, That is why those products will have one or two months warranty. So if you find those kinds of products in the market, stay well clear from them because you don't know what you're going to get. However, for something that is reputable with a longer 18 months warranty like from Eagle Eyes, um, it's okay for you to take it home with you and get your mechanics to fix it for you. You'll probably be able to get a better installation price because you know the guy, la, the guy can work out a better uh, installation price for you. However, the warranty will be considered null and void if modification is done to the headlamp unit. So no drilling, no cutting of wires uh, unnecessarily. Now, if you do all that kind of stuff and you do modification to fit your car, which it is not originally intended to do so, you're gonna get into a lot of problem. Warranty, no more. So that's the one thing you definitely do not want to happen when you're making an investment on a headlamp.
Now hold on a second. Now I'm changing my headlamp because I've got a broken headlamp. Now you must be thinking, why would you want to change your headlamp if you don't have a broken headlamp? Now here's why. Now apart from the cool design factor, of course, which is anybody wants that. The other issue is safety. Now safety how? Now if you change your headlamp, you can upgrade your headlamp because you might be thinking, well, your current headlamp does not give you enough amounts of light that you really want it to put out. So what do you do? You upgrade your headlamps. And basically, there are two ways to go about it. This baby here is the uh, standard uh, halogen uh, bulbs, which basically you can just replace in your car. Uh, you can go for a slightly brighter bulb, but hey, this is basically a, a, a standard replacement. It's basically take out the old bulb and put this one new in, uh, and you're good to go. The other one, of course, is this one here, HIDs. I know, I know, I know. HIDs are sort of like taboo words here in Malaysia because a lot of people seem to think that it's, generally speaking, illegal. Now, what makes HIDs illegal is this. A lot of the HID units that are being installed in cars aftermarket out there right now has a, a, a unit called uh, Kelvin, which is the light temperature and the unit that the, the output of those HIDs are way too high. They can go up to five to 6,000 Ks. However, the standard accepted K unit uh, value that is uh, accepted by JPJ is 4,300 Ks. So even if you install a HID system in your car, you must maintain below the 4,300 K mark. Anything above that, it doesn't matter if it's HID or halogen, you are going to be on the wrong side of the law and your uncle is going to come knocking on your window. So the thing that you want to do is, regardless if you want to go with halogen or HID, you must go with the right amount of light, which is 4,300K and below. Anything south of that, you're good to go. Anything north of that, your best friend, the policeman is going to say, excuse me, pull over please. Okay, so as they say, the final proof is in the tasting of the pudding. So we want to know safety, what exactly are we talking about? Hit it. As you can see, the light is very, very, very uniform. Okay, it's a straight line, which is what you're really looking for. You don't want a light that's bounced and bent here and there. What you want is a good quality straight line, knowing the full fact that, you know, your light is going exactly where you want it to go. However, do check this out. Now, if I'm standing over here, you will notice that this side is slightly higher than this side, all right? Now, why is that? The explanation is very simple. Malaysian cars are right-hand drive cars. So when you buy a lamp from a reputable guy like Eagle Eyes, they know that the lamps are meant for Malaysian cars and it has been homologated and constructed and designed in such a way that it fits the requirements of a right-hand drive car. What are the requirements of a right-hand drive car? Well, the left part is higher, the right part is lower. Why? Because your oncoming traffic is on your right. So you do not glare the oncoming traffic with your light because the, uh, the beams are dipped lower. On the left, you will find your road signs. Your road signs are on the left, so the, the beams are dipped higher so that you get a better view of the road signs. Very simple logic. However, if you buy headlamps from an irreputable guy uh, that is selling you products that are actually meant for left-hand drive cars, you will face a problem because this will be that. What you're going to get really is your lights will be blinding the oncoming traffic because the beams are dipped higher and you're not going to be able to read your road signs as well because the beams on this side is dipped lower. So, which is precisely why you must know exactly what you're getting yourself into from data. Boom! New bling! Just like that. Well, it's an easy way to add smiles to your face but also to add a bling factor to your car. Now, another conundrum before we part ways. Why would you want to do this to a brand new car that you just bought? Maybe because you want to um, upgrade your headlamp and add a static value to it but you have 
warranty concerns? Well, here's the answer. If you go with a reputable guy like Eagle Eyes, you're gonna make sure that the headlamp in your car, totally plug and play, no warranty issues. Uh, so again, the three things that you must consider, choose the right design for you, make sure that the safety standards are pretty high up there because you wanna choose the right products for yourself, and also quality assurance. Don't go the shortcut way by choosing, well, an irreputable dealer selling products that you don't know what the origin of the product is with a limited warranty period. Go with a real reputable seller that will give you products that has warranty periods that's going to at least give you peace of mind for the next year and a half or so. Well, that's it from us uh, and uh, we have a lot more interesting stuff coming your way. So stay with us while I go and enjoy my new ride. Next week, we stay in Japan for an even closer look at the awesome Tokyo Motor Show. So don't forget, it's now Saturdays at 9.30pm. See you then.